downtown for almost 1,500 years, despite an ever-changing world. This year, Centerville Middle School took a modern approach to this timeless game. CMS is no stranger to chess, as Principal Muma is well aware. We have always had a chess team. We have a, um, a, a showcase full of trophies in our lobby. But Sam Keener and the rest of the chess team couldn't add trophies to their collection in 2020, at least not in the same way. Last year we just had like a regular chess season. We went to other schools, but this year with COVID and all, um, it had to be virtual. So the chess team advisor, Mr. Binder, set up an online tournament, and students like Kara Mendenhall stepped up to the challenge. What you do is you go from your seventh period class to your flex class. If you have like an extracurricular like chorus or band or something like that, then you wouldn't do it that day. But if you don't, then you would sit in your flex class, log on to chesskid.com, which is a uh, website we use, and then you play against your, your other schoolmates, I guess. Virtual chess does not always give players the advantage. Not being able to see your opponent can be kind of strange, and a lot of them were like timed games, so last year we had like 30 minutes all together to make our moves. This year, like the last tournaments we were doing were like only three minutes, so it's very fast chess. You don't have as much time to think. I definitely say like you can't like talk to like a specific person in the chat, so if you like mess up. You have to like wait, and sometimes the game lags a little bit. But Kara, just playing her opening with chess, has enjoyed it anyway. I definitely liked being able to like play with other people of my age, and like I'll sometimes know who they are. And I liked seeing, I liked talking in the chat that was, and playing the game. So figuring out strategies were really fun. There was even a surprise attack from one eighth grade team. Check. At first, th we had a difficulty getting kids to sign up. In fact, um, at one point, I was um, looking at updates and it looked like we didn't have students from the Colonials team participating. And um, the most recent updates where I'm getting scores, it looks like the Colonials may be in the running for winning now. And they did. Sam placed I second. I got second. Kara placed eighth. I got eighth. And got some exciting news. I just was notified that I got onto the chess team. Principal Muma is already plotting future tournament ideas. Centerville Middle School usually always beats Lannisville Middle School in chess. So um, I think possibly I could talk Mr. Bender into setting something up, uh, CMS versus LMS. And she's grateful that the students were able to play this year. I think it's so important, um, especially here during a pandemic, for everyone to find ways to connect, to have fun, to still um, participate in hobbies and, and find a, a way to do it safely. The CMS chess team put up a good defense to COVID-19 by finding a safe way to continue doing what they enjoy until their rooks, knights, and pawns can be together again. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Laura Clare.